Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to my weekend live. For those of you who do not know me, my name is Francisca. I am a certified health and life coach, a real estate investor, a former educator, a former educate, um, excuse me, a former teacher who has taught ESL, English as a second language and French for over 20 years in the United States, in Canada and China from middle school to university levels. I have even taught a foreign ambassador French. I am also a speaker with a DTM, a Distinguished Toastmasters, and I am also a wealth creator with the Mind Assistance Program, aka the Map Book. I am also the author of four books. Today, we're going to discuss how to appreciate the fine things of life. And if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, please click the subscribe button like and share and put some comments how to appreciate the fine things of life the first way to appreciate the fine things of life is to visit museums and art galleries as well as art exhibitions and look at paintings appreciate the work of art some of the work of arts are three-dimensional when I was in university in the United States, we had to take both arts and science subjects to make us an all-rounded individual. I remember I took an arts class and I had to write a research paper on the Mona Lisa. So when you have an idea of arts, art appreciation, you can hold good conversation, you can talk about famous artists such as Leonardo da Vinci and Michael Angelo as well as Pab Pablo Picasso. Those are all artists. So visiting museums and art galleries is one way to appreciate the fine things of life. The second way to appreciate the fine things of life is to travel and explore. Once you travel, it opens up a whole different horizon. If you can travel, get your passport and travel as much as possible. Because when you travel, you become more tolerant and you learn about the norms and mores of different cultures. The third way to appreciate the fine things of life is to try food from different countries. I am half West African and I'm half West Indian. My late father came from Cameroon, West Africa, and my late mother came from Jamaica in the West Indies. I have grown up in England, in Cameroon, United States, China, and Canada. So I have eaten foods from different cultures. I remember when I lived in Ottawa, I had a friend that said, let's go and eat some Indian food. He said, oh, I don't like Indian food. I said, have you ever eaten Indian food? He said, no, but I know I won't like it. I said, relax. Let's go and eat Indian food. Let's go to an Indian buffet. All you can eat, it is my treat. I am pain. So if you don't like the food, we can get up and leave. It's a deal. So guess what? When he went to the Indian buffet, he went three times. So I said, I thought you, you told me you don't like Indian food. Oh, I made a mistake. This is fantastic food. Indian food is, is nice. So taste other food. There's Mexican food, there's Indian food, there's Cameroonian food, there's Greek, and in Toronto you can find all kinds of food. You don't have to live in Toronto to taste all kinds of food. You can be in other countries as well. So that's a way of appreciating the fine things of life. Another way to appreciate the fine things of life is to watch foreign films. We have Hollywood movies, we have Bollywood movies, which are Indian movies, and we have Nollywood movies, which are Nigerian movies. Watch different movies. Look at the beautiful homes when they shoot movies. 
some of the movies have very beautiful homes. I like to watch this movie because I appreciate the nice homes. Another way you can appreciate the fine things of life is to attend open houses for real estate. Everybody who attends an open house is not going to buy a house. Some of them, I'm going to reveal a secret. It's not a secret for some. Some people go to open houses to get ideas to decorate their own homes. They're not going to buy the house. They just want to get ideas. So if you want to appreciate beauty, go to an open house for real estate. Some of them are very well staged. Okay. Another one is, another idea is surround yourself with beauty. Have plants in your home. If you have a balcony, have plants and flowers. But if you're allergic to them, then you don't have them. Have beautiful pictures on the walls of your living room. And one other idea of appreciating the fine things of beauty is to keep a gratitude journal. Keep a gratitude journal by your bedside. So at the end of the night, before you sleep, you write down seven things that you are grateful for. Okay, don't take life for granted. When you embrace gratitude and you show gratitude, good things will come your way. So these are some of the ideas on how to appreciate the fine things of life. There are many, many more. And if you have any other ideas, on how to appreciate the fine things of life, please jot down in the comments below. Many of you are watching, but you're not writing any comments. I would appreciate comments. And if there's anything else you want me to talk about, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good morning, have a good afternoon, and have a good evening, wherever you might be tuning in from. Have a nice and productive week ahead. See you next Saturday. Bye for now.